All right, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus, and today we are playing against Alk715. So we, you might not see it right now, but uh, they were wiggling their mouths like all over the place, and they saw it as me, and that was quite fun. And would you look at that, they're playing my exact setup for the last stand team, so this is going to be a pretty fun one. So what are we playing today? Well, it's not too much of a good matchup for them, but it's also not great for me. We're playing an antiquarian hit squad. So I just came up with this idea of what if you bring the hit squad setup with Flash on Crusader Bounty Hunter, but instead of an Arbalist, you bring an antiquarian and you just go full DOT with Caltrops and Materia Pestis uh, measuring papers. You all know how much I love my, my Caltrops, so doing a lot of DOT like this might just be a lot of fun. So it's exactly what we're going to try. So we're going to miss pretty much everything with the Antiquarian because she really needs accuracy buffs. But the other idea behind this team is that you have three Virtue Chances and the Flagellant. So you are very, very powerful against stress teams having that. And against damage teams, you have Rejuvenating Vapors and Festering Vapors with Materia Pestis kind of just destroys damage teams completely. So we have that going for us. So before anything else happens, I'm just going to start dropping Zealouses. There's really no point going for stuns against a frontline like this if you only have the Sacred Blade. So I'm just going to drop Zealous after Zealous after zealous and just try hurting my opponent that way. I'm quite surprised it didn't go duelist advance immediately since they got to go first, but of course I'm not complaining because uh, it allowed me to get two AoE abilities off, especially Caltrips, right? Because with Caltrips taking forever and with the Materia Pestis making my Festering Vapors take for 33% longer, I'm really going to hurt my opponent. They decide to go for a guard here, which is going to give them a lot of protection, but they allow me to go for another Festering Vapors which only hits two characters out of the four, so that's not great, but no, it's still still a decent amount of DOT applied. That higher man's already... well, he's sticking down to zero, but it's, it's gonna take ages, right? So here comes the Duelist Advance, probably a mineral on that, if you if you ask me, and here come more Zealouses. So I will always have the Festering Vapors to breach through this guard if my opponent just decides to stay, stay at zero HP, but even then, it's only a 20% chance of getting a death blow because I do not have to finish on this Antiquarian, which is kind of uh, not what I usually do. I usually bring finishers on my Antiquarians, but not this one. She kind of needs both this setup uh, because without Materia Pestis, her offense kind of sucks. So, Festering Vapors really wouldn't be that scary. And without Tears of the Lost, this wouldn't really be a, a triple Virtue team, so it wouldn't be that much fun. You know what I could do? I could pull the dog here, but then my Zealous has become way worse, so that, that actually doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know what my Bounty Hunter is going to do, honestly. He doesn't really have anything good to do here, which is really weird, but that's true. It is what it is. Yeah, Flagellant's going to be healing the other characters. I wonder if he's going to be greedy, because I don't have an immediate kill. He, does, he definitely didn't have to do that. He could have waited until the start of next round to go for that, because he does go first, so... Uh, a bit of a, a bit of an inaccuracy there, if you want to call it like that. I could pull the Houndmaster, but then I'm just, I'm just not doing anything. That's kind of the problem here. It's got a bounty hunter. He does have uppercut, but if I move to position one, I just uppercut the men arms, and then my zealous has become worse because I'm hitting the doggy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna drop a finish him here. It's gonna do some okay damage. Really not a lot, but I mean, there isn't much he can do right now. You can hope for a virtue and then go from there, I guess. Yeah, he does, he does have that going. I will keep dropping more Zealouses. Of course, my Flagellant's already taking down quite a lot here, but if he takes down too much, I'll just uh, go for a very aggressive move with an Exanguinate or something into the guard, and overall I'll be okay. I don't feel like this is a Rejuvenating Vapor Stone. Now, is it a Festering Vapor Stone? No, definitely not. If I go into Festering Vapors right now, they just drop off and I'm dead, so I'm 100% not going to do that. I'm gonna hope for a Zealous Crit right there, but no Zealous Crit, sadly. You're not taking down to zero, but you're close, Flash. Not very, very close. That's good. That is quite good. Of course, Flash going down to zero heals all the other characters, so my Caltrops get somewhat nullified, which isn't too good, and oh, the Grip Shot isn't doing that, that much damage. I'm kind of, I was kind of hoping it would do a little bit more than that. Yeah, kind of. Not, not completely, but kind of. Well, since I don't get to go first, I should probably save my flash on action for a bit. Uh, what should I do here? I could go finish him, but... Oh, if, wait, 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 wait. I have a very, very nasty move here. I can go for a punish, so I am using my flash on action here, which is a bit of a risk, because... 
Uh, they do get to go first next round, so that's rough. But I can use my flagellant action here, and they have to change the guard, or else I could just kill the men at arms on the spot. So if they don't change the guard, they, they die. No, 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 change the guard, change the guard. Oh, okay, your men at arms is dead. <laughs> they go aggressive with it. It might pay off, maybe, if they're lucky. They have to be very lucky here. But yeah, their men at arms is dead now. I'm sorry, but uh, say goodbye to your MEA. Yeah, it is. This team is very aggressive. Look at the amount of DOT it's doing. It's just kind of crazy. Hit squad, but uh, DOT hit squad. It's, it's very funny how that works. Yeah, Men at Arms is gone now, so that's quite bad for my opponent. That means that the Flatron's only defense is gone, and I'm just doing so much DOT to him. It's really rough here. I, my Crusader is probably going to be stuck on healing duty, though. I think that if I'm if I'm my opponent, I just go immediately punish into this Flatron and just try to get a death blow. Maybe it's like a duelist advance or something, but they're just trying to save the high man here, which might work, it might work. You never know. I could go Fenstering Vapors, but um, yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. I'm just gonna drop Rejuvenation, honestly. I have three Virtue Chances and the Flagellant. If I can just heal my characters, I will keep them alive forever. How can you break through three Virtues and uh, a Gauntlet of Absolution? It's kind of impossible. If I do get three Virtues, of course, it's not too likely at all that I get three Virtues, but there's a chance. And if there's a chance, there's a way. I might go exsanguinate into the, cor into the corpse here, but... Oh no, the corpse is gone already. Jeez, that's insane. Well, I will just click here and, uh, and redeem them. This is perfectly okay. I'll just redeem on the, um, on the Bounty Hunter. He has the least HP. So let's do that, get some healing going, and we're perfectly fine here. My opponent's still dropping down to zero on that flagellant, and I can just wait out my Bounty Hunter action because I do get to go last now, which is actually good in this situation, so I can just wait that out, and once they do go for their flagellant action, I'll just have a death moment there. So now I would like to go for a stun, but you know, it's kind of impossible that it does land or do anything. I could drop another Rejuvenating Vapor, so I could just go Festering. What do I want to do here? Ah, uh, Festering might genuinely be better, I'm gonna do it again. I mean, re Regen. With the Tears of the Loss, your Regen actually lasts for longer. I haven't played Antiquarian in so long, that's unbelievable. I feel like it's been months since I've done an Antiquarian video. She's she's nice, she's a good character. Uh, no, I think I maybe played her like a week or two ago, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. She's a very nice character, and we're playing her today to see what we can make to with her. You know what I can do right now? It's kind of nasty, but I'm gonna go for it. I can go for this, and if I get the stun, it's really lucky. Yeah, it's really lucky if I get the stun here. The stun chance is a 35. With the crit, it's a bit more, but what I can do is I can just go for an ability and then go for another one, and the flagellant is at uh, 0 HP. Well, in hindsight, I probably could have gone finish him first and then potentially gone on a death blow, but I wanted to stun and then have the finish him pressure going. So now the corpse is gone, they have to change the guard again, but if they change the guard, I just... I, I could stun the doggy, but my hit chance is probably like a 20 on the stun, so instead I will just uh, drop a stunning blow here on the highman, which misses. Okay, that's rough. That is really rough. My hit chance isn't too great. That sturdy buckle definitely coming in clutch with the bolster as well. Well, that makes the game a little trickier for me. I wanted to go for a stun and then a festering vapors, and see where that would take me. But sadly, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out that way. What I can go for is I can go for a come hitter on the on the handmaster and. It doesn't work anymore. I could have gone for a come hither and then just taken it from there. Uh, should I go for a Festering Vapors here? I don't think so. I'm going to drop a come hither anyway. Let's see. My hit chance is actually at 28. Wow, that's unbelievable. 28% hit chance. Okay, this card is going to be more difficult to deal with than, than I thought. Uh, how am I going to deal with this? Okay, they're going to go for a punish. Am I dropping down to zero? Oh, yes, yeah, for sure I'm dropping down to zero. I think I have to drop a Festering Paper Zero, honestly. It's a 20, but I have to try it. Oh, I miss. <laughs> I seriously miss an 80% hit chance on the flash one. Oh, God. Okay, this is not going too well. I am at this door here. If I don't heal, I just get, you know, oofed. So that's, that's not fun. I have to drop a heal here. If I do this, I might get oofed as well. Oh god, 61% hit chance. No, not even with Crown of Thorns would it be nice. Goddamn sturdy buckles uh, actually doing work for my opponent. Okay, I don't really see my way to victory anymore. I don't have any hit chance on that doggy. That stupid doggy just keeps dodging everything. 
I think I have to point this one out. I have to go like regen, all this stuff, and I have to wait for the caltrips to catch up to them. But they're gonna have to reclaim and all that. So they go for a PDS here. I am at this door. It's not the end of the world for me. Or should I go for a heal here? I feel like I should go for a heal. Yeah, let's drop a heal at this point. It's perfectly okay. Just heal myself up for a little bit. Rejuvenating papers isn't enough to counter, but they still have minus healing skills, so if, if they want to go for the immediate heal, they're still not going to heal for very much. And if they don't, I'll just drop another Fetching Papers on them, and this one might uh, be the kill, hopefully. They're going to go Punish. Please don't do 5. Clueless. Of course they do 5. Shep, they have Death's Door, and maybe even Command Boss. No, there's no more Command Boss. Well, if you want to do that... Uh... Oh goodness, this flatland is so screwed. He is so screwed right now. Hmm, well, their flatland is screwed as well. I fail another 80% hit chance. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, the repulse is tickling me somehow, but I fail another 80% hit chance. Oh my god, can you please stop? That's unbelievable. Like, I should at least be hitting, at least. I'm surprised they don't go for a Hound's Airy. I would have gone for the Hound's Airy on the spot, on the freaking spot. I mean, I don't have a good target to hit, let's be honest here. Zero, zero, absolutely zero on that, 28. Should I go for finish him here? They have Redeem coming up, so it's not like it's gonna matter. Ah, oh, I fell another 28. Why doesn't come here that I have like 130 accuracy? That would be fair, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, 61. <laughs> That's so terrible. Oh, that is so terrible. Should I move back here? Should I drop her claim? Punish? It's it's a oh, it's a horrible hit chance. I'm gonna do it. I want to get at least minus uh, at least a few healing skills on there. Okay, they might go for a 20, but um, hopefully they don't get it right. Yeah, I have to I have to hope on it. They have exotic snuff. So they might miss if they try going for an Exsanguinate on me or something. They've already used two, so their next action is probably going to be the Redeem. Well, they're going to click their higher man. They're going to go Duelist Advance, right? Please don't get the tiny. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I could go for a heal here. That would heal all my other characters. Mm, I have to stun. I genuinely have to stun here. Things are only going to get worse for me. You know what I could do? Oh, I'm already at this star. I could go for a stun and then exsanguinate the higher man, but <laughs> it might still be messed up for me. It might not work, you know? Hmm. I have to go for it. I have to go for an exsanguinate. Screw it. 61, I actually hit, and I stay alive as well. Oh my god, that's brutal. That's unbelievable. I actually stay alive through it as well. But I don't apply a bleed! I have Spike Bat! How do I not apply a bleed? What is this? Do I need to bring two Spiked Bats and two Crown of Thorns to hit and bleed? What is this BS? And they get a redeemed crit, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Nah, it would have mattered. Exanguinate would tick for ages, but I cannot believe they actually got the 10% on there. Well, at least, at least they didn't dodge, right? Okay. Okay, let's be smart about this. They're probably gonna keep guarding. I think dropping more rejuvenating papers now is really smart, but not immediately, because my characters don't really need them at this point. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna... Oh, this is so smart. I'm gonna go for a stun this time. Can I please hit the stun on the highway, man? Oh my god, it's 79! 79% 79 hit chance! Oh, and I miss it. Wait, how is it at 79? They have 29 dodge. I don't know. The reason I wanted to go for it is because then they would lose the repulse, I could go finish him, and I would be booming right now, but no, there's no booming in this world. Okay, 28. Oh, please let me hit something. And here comes Rejuvenating Papers. Why is Last Stand so damn difficult to kill? Yeah, if I had an Arbalest like this... Would this be over ages ago? I don't know. I generally don't know, because the start of the match would have been a lot more difficult. But yeah, this is this is still being very difficult for me. Okay, so I don't have to heal immediately, but um, I will. I will still heal immediately. I mean, they're running out of heals, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm probably going to drop another Rejuvenating Vapors as well. Uh, rejuvenating Vapors is really freaking good, because Repass, like, from the Hireman, doesn't really matter as much anymore. Because even though you get hit, like, even for your entire health bar with a crit, you're just Rejuvenating Vapors, they don't really have a follow-up to it, so... Overall, you're just having a very, very, very fun time. 
Um, speaking of having a fun time, I'm probably not about to have one. I will drop the rejuvenating vapors here though. Oh, nice crit. That's gonna heal some stress as well. And let's do it. Let's keep this flagellant alive somehow. Hopefully they don't get a crit right now with the punish. That would be really rough for me. They're gonna go for it and... Oh, is that enough? I mean, yeah. Oh, it's barely enough. They rolled for eight. That's so brutal. I am, I am dropping to this store now. Well, it's 28 again. <laughs> do I go for it? Or do I go for a 61? I'm gonna go for a 61. I have to start sacrificing my HP. That doesn't even matter, honestly, because I have regen. Yeah, that doesn't even matter. They're just focusing my flash on down here. Do I go for a heal? It's... Oh... oh 50! It's a 50! Mm, punish... Horrible hit chances, horrible hit chances. 61, I'm gonna go for it again. I survive, and I get a crit heal on top! And now I fight the bleed, where is the justice? Where is the justice in that? There is no justice in this world. I cannot believe I actually survived the repast, and I put them down to zero. Like, for starters, I hit, you know? <laughs> that, that should be my win. That should be my reward, actually hitting my opponent, but I get a crit heal on top of that. Holy Mary, Mother of Joseph, that is insane. Okay, they're, they're gonna drop her claims just so they don't drop down to this store immediately, which makes sense. But I might have finishing vapors, it might do enough DOT with uh, with all that I've got here. If I were if for Caltrips, this match would be so over, honestly. Caltrips is really helping me out. Yeah, I just need to do a little bit of damage and he'll drop down to zero. Rejuvenating Vapors would be good here as well, but... Oh, I miss! No! Okay, it's fine. I have more attacking actions. I still have the Crusader. I can still take this uh, this Hireman down. If they go for a guard right now, again, on the Flagellant, they, they might sacrifice the Hireman here. Because after a stun, finish them to kill. Yeah, they're at 2 HP. It's really rough for them. What are they gonna do? If they don't go Duelist Advance, they will lose their repast, so that's quite bad. They might go Duelist Advance into the Bounty Hunter, that would be smart. But no, they're going to the Flagellant again. It's also smart, obviously. Do I want to stun there? Yes, let's try it. Let's try going for the stun. Third time's the charm, right? They missed the repast because they're at this door, so their accuracy sucks at this door. This is kind of the problem when you lose the mana arms with this setup, is that you don't really have any accuracy trinkets, so that's rough for you. And they're gonna go for a guard here. They're gonna have to heal the flash on soon as well. How many redeems do they still have? They only have one redeem left, so that's pretty good for me. I can hit the flash on or I can try hitting you. I'm gonna hit the flash here. I do a mineral, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna punish and they're gonna be at zero anyway. So the flagellant is gonna have to, to heal himself somehow. That is good for me, that is very very good for me. Of course, you might have repulse, but if you're at this door, and no, if you're stunned, your repulse doesn't really work right. But why isn't the character flashing? They're at this door. Probably something with skins, or I don't know. Yeah, okay, now they're flashing. Uh, they still have that repulse up, so I gotta be careful with it. Should I go fetching vapors here, or regen, or stun? There's so many moves, all of them terrible. I'm gonna go Rejuvenating Vapors, just keep my characters alive and well. They have to go defensive here, so I am slowly winning this, because this team is actually built kinda interesting. Its offense isn't really perfect, let's be honest here. It doesn't have... it doesn't have marks, it doesn't have bypass guard, it, it's really lacking on a lot of stuff, it doesn't have reliable stuns, doesn't have good accuracy either. But its defense is really decent. It's got Flagellant for healing, it's got Antiquarian for healing, and it's got three Virtue Chances. Like, it's really freaking nutty. They go for a guard again, so they keep their dodge up. You know what I could do? I could be lucky. I could try and go for the lucky play. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay. That's sad. Well, my hit chance was 8%. Uh, maybe 13% if you count the hit and 5 accuracy, but yeah. It would be quite lucky to, to take that, I will I will say that. So they're gonna go for the redeem here, the characters are all nice and well. I could go for a finisher, might do enough damage, honestly. It needs a crit or a very, very, very high roll. I could go for a stun first, though. Uh, which is it? Which do I want to do? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go for the finisher first. And then I'm gonna go zealous. Wow, it actually gets the crit! 27 damage, god 
damn bounty hunter. Sometimes he just deals so much damage. It's insane how, how, how he is. And now I can go for Zealous. It's a 30. It doesn't uh, doesn't take it. I, I don't know why I didn't go Sunny Blow there, but yeah, Zealous is okay as well. Maybe I had a chance of hitting the Houndmaster. Very, very small chance. Are they going to change the guard again? They are. Does that mean another Fence Ring Papers is coming? Maybe. Maybe it means that. But before that happens, I'm actually just going to drop a Punish here on the Highman. Keep applying pressure to their side. We do get the bleed. Spiked Bat is coming in clutch. Uh, they do hit us pretty hard, but it's okay. I'm going to have a self heal with the... I'm going to have a heal with the Crusader. I'm going to have a lot of good stuff. I still have one Exanguinate left, by the way. Because Flagell 2 is just fair like that. I will go Festering Vapors now, right? Yeah, they, they no longer have Repulse. This is potentially just a 35. I'm going to do it. I don't get it, but then is it a store check, so I'm still happy. I'm, I'm still happy here. They're gonna go Exsanguinate. They might go on the Crusader, but if they go on the Crusader, honestly, I just have so much regen, it's not gonna matter. Unless they get a crit. And if they go on the Flash, they just heal my other characters, and if they do 6 damage, which they probably do... Uh, yeah, they probably go Punish here, actually. They don't even have to drop an Exsanguinate. But I will just drop a, a heal here with the Crusader and, uh, and just stay happy, right? I could go aggressive, but... I doubt I do 11 damage. Do I? Do I do 11 damage? I have to be quite lucky, right? Mm, yeah, that's that's quite lucky. Well, how about this? Lucky area, even. I could do enough. I could do enough, but that's kind of sacrificing the, the flash one here. So I, I don't really want to do that. Let's, let's be honest at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and drop a heal, just uh, just be happy here, and let's drop a finish him on the higher man. Now he's at this door, and you have run out of your heals, right? Unless they have another redeem? No, 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 they're out of redeems now. If you change the guard now to the higher man, the flagellant dies. You, you've you run out of heals, it's over, it's over for you. The Houndmaster is sticking down as well, it's been 12 rounds of caltrips. You want to know how much damage caltrips has dealt? Let's say it did like, I think the Men Arms died around 4, so let's say it did like 8 damage to the Men Arms, plus 1 if you count the activation, so it did like 9 damage to the Men Arms, and it has done like 24 damage to each of these characters, so in total it's almost at 100 damage right now. It's gonna go up to 100 damage, that Caltrips, it's really that good. So I could just go for a heal here with the Crusader, that would be okay, uh, but you know what, that's... That's not fun. I'm gonna go for the kill, and if they want to drop a Hounds Harry and get the, the kill as well, so be it. I want to. I want to get rid of their Highman now. If they if they get rid of my Flagellant, then uh, you know he he did his job so far. If they don't, then that would be really unlucky. But they do get rid of the Flagellant. I still have the triple virtue chance, so I'm fine here. Reinforcements have arrived, giving me a heal for I think one. So that was fun. And now here comes the fast ring papers, probably with the battle, right? No, another miss of the flash. Wait, I missed the flash one, but I hit the hound monster. Okay, I see how it is. He's sticking down to zero very soon as well. I can actually just drop Zealous here, and that corpse is gonna go away, and then Zealous is actually gonna hit both characters, and that's gonna be really rough. Uh, their best exsanguinate target is my Crusader at this point, and uh, I have a lot of bleed res on him, and a lot of HP as well. So I should be okay if they if they, if they try and do that. Let's see what they what they actually want to do here. It's really rough for them because they haven't dealt a lot of stress on my other characters, and even then I have uh, I have the funny trinkets right. So maybe that does come into play. I really want to see myself getting virtues, but I don't think we're gonna have a chance of seeing that. I'm gonna drop another fetching papers here. Actually, gets rid of the corpse. So Zealous is coming. They definitely have to drop an exsanguinate now. Maybe to get a crit on it, though. You, you never know. They might get a crit exsanguinate. Hit, crit exsanguinate, heal. Just all the nastiness. If they don't go for it, there's just Zealous, so it's GG. And they miss. They genuinely <laughs> miss the exsanguinate. Well, GG's to Loud. That was a really, really funny match. I feel like it was, it was a bit unfair. With uh, with all the RNG that went down, my flash one should have died way earlier. Their high man should have been alive for longer. That was that was quite unfair, but that was still a very 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 fun match. So let's go on for match number two with this uh, quirky team. Okay, and on to we go. Uh, on we go to match number two, and it looks like my opponent is actually doing something quite similar to me. So this time we're not playing against Dots, we're not playing against Nameless, we're not playing against a bunch of numbers, we're playing against Underscore. And they had a banner that was really, really similar to mine, just uh, like one difference, I think. 
And uh, here we go. Well, they have kind of a dodge team and I have no accuracy, so that's not good. They have a flange on Train of Sorrows. They have no caltrips. That's so weird. Why do you not have caltrips? But Mark for Death, <laughs> is that a mistake? I, I don't really know. Well, you know what I'm gonna do first. I could I could not do this, but I will do it. I will just drop a caltrips here. It has so much crit chance. I don't know how it's possible. I feel like it crits every single time I use it. It's unbelievable. And at least on one character, it, it's only, it only has 17% crit. I don't know how, it, how that works. But they're actually gonna drop an uppercut on me. I, I don't mind it all that much, honestly. It's not like my flagellant is your flagellant. So I, I don't really lose too much here by that uh, by that thing happening. I could go for the fast ring vapors immediately, and I will because I want to apply DOT sooner rather than later. But of course, I only hit one character because yeah, that that really isn't uh, coming in too good for me. My hit chances aren't that bad though. It's like, it was like a 90 on like 80 here, maybe a bit less here, a bit less there, but it would be nice. Here comes the Zealous though, and we get both of those hits, so that's that's very, very good for me. Yeah, this team really wants some accuracy. I could get rid of one of the characters for accuracy, but honestly, I mean, I'm not getting rid of the Flatulant. I'm not getting rid of the Pound Hunter, because that's Caltrips and Kills. I could go for a Jester and still have the Crusader. I'm not getting rid of the Crusader either, because he's, he's like a... The, the one that you most associate with virtues, the Sacred Blades are still be like that. And these are direct healers, so I'm not gonna do what my opponent did here and just bring a Chester instead of a Crusader. I feel like that's kind of deranged here. Of course their team kind of sucks against against damage because Rejuvenating Vapors is good, but um, they won't really have a good time without, without regen, so... This team would really suffer against a lot of damage teams, but we're not playing a damage team, so... You know, it's, it's not like it matters anyway. What I am going to do here is a little bit weird, but I'm going to prevent Uppercut and Harvest with uh, a come hither on the gesture, but I somehow fail a 90% move chance. I was expecting that Reign of Stars to be a crit, you know, just to add just to add a little more pain to my side, but thankfully it isn't, but yeah, it's it's taking down. It's taking down. There's really no point just dropping rejuvenating papers when your opponent has so much DOT. It's really not gonna do anything. They just have they just outpace it completely. Your rejuvenating papers is basically just you wasting an action. You might get out of this door for a little bit longer, but it's really not gonna make too much of a difference. So right now, their Bounty Hunter probably would have felt very silly in position 2, in position like 3, not having uppercut, and the chance would be in position 1 with really no one to finale, apart from maybe my Antiquarian, but yeah, now he gets to drop a Harvest instead, and you know, the DOT hurts, it hurts quite a bit. I don't want to do another come hither though, because now it might actually go in for a kill, which wouldn't be too much fun. They are dropping the Rejuvenating Vapors. I don't have quite as much DOT as they do, so it is it is a smart play to drop the Rejuvenating Vapors here. It feels like my team is a hybrid, and I'm really facing possibly the worst thing I could be facing, which is a full-on DOT team. And I actually miss an 88 on the Bounty Hunter, which is the one that I desperately wanted to hit. Oh boy, that's, that's, that's not very good. That is not very good. I wanted to bring him closer down to zero. He's so tanky, this man. Okay, here comes Exanginate. I'm I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm alive, which is what matters. And here comes Festering Papers at this store, so 80 accuracy. I hit two characters. My hit chances aren't that bad, let's be honest. Even with 80 accuracy, even with the Leper. I'm I'm if you throw enough shit at the wall, some of it's gonna stick. That's kind of my, my game plan here. So they're gonna do an uppercut, surprisingly. And they actually fail it entirely, which is really freaking good for me. I could just click here and drop a redeem, which is actually exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't want them to just get a finishing paper skill. That wouldn't be too much fun. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop a heal here, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna chill. If they go Dirk stab and get a crit on my flatulent, I might actually have to go for a pull on the antiquarian or on the bounty hunter. But they don't get the crit. What's their damage? They only have. They have 13 to 22. They have a chance of getting it, but it's quite unlikely, so I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I could just go aggressive here, but they have way too much HP for me to justify it. I don't think I'm gonna take them out that way. Could do this, but it's not too likely. They're not at low enough HP. I'm gonna go for it. I might do some okay damage. That's, that's not too okay, but you know, it's more than nothing, I guess. Hmm. Are they gonna go another rejuvenating vapors or are they gonna go fast ring? 
now it's an old rejuvenating. Yeah, it's smart of them to do that. Should I go rejuvenating myself? Probably not. I'm gonna do another festering papers here. Hopefully hit more than two characters this time. Hey, that's all uh, all of them characters. But I failed a blight on the most important ones. Uh, oh, the butcher circus, stop doing this to me. That's okay, we'll manage, we'll manage, right? They're gonna go for a come hither now. That's gonna make my life a little bit more difficult. But it could be made a lot easier if I get a crit holy lance. No, no crit holy lance. Still not a nice, not a bad damage roll. If I got a crit holy lance there, come hither could have just been a death, but they don't have any direct heals. So they'd be really screwed here, but yeah. Such is the way of the butcher circus. They go for another heal like that. I could do that, but uh, honestly, I'll just do this, and uh, and we'll be kind of okay here. Not not really, but kind of. Are they looking at the finale? They have 13 to 22 damage. If they go for it, they're kind of insane. They can just wait out my DOT here, honestly. I'm dropping to this door again. I can heal myself up to 15, but I'm totally screwed here. Yeah, totally screwed. There's no way I can win this, sadly. My team works in some matchups, it doesn't work in others, and it really doesn't work in this one. They just do way too much DOT to my side, I don't really have that kill pressure, and the rejuvenating paper scarf just counters my, my kills, uh, my kill pressure. It's really quite sad, and all their DOT counters my defense, which really doesn't work out too well for me. But, you know, I'm gonna keep playing. There, there's always a chance, right? There's always a chance. I'm gonna keep doing more DOT. And once they start getting afflicted, maybe I will get something going. Just maybe. I might get a, a zealous crit in here somewhere as well. You never know. Okay, the flagellant is gonna go for a punish here. They're trying to attrition my own flash down. And they actually get a crit on it, which makes this a little tricky for me, but uh, we'll, we'll be okay, I think. So here comes the Zealous, does get a nice hit on there. I could I could have just dropped a, a stun there, but I don't feel like they're gonna go for the immediate finale. They don't really have enough damage. And if they go if they went for like a finish him to get the finale damage, I would just pull a character behind them. And they would just not get the finale after that. How much rejuvenation do you have? <sighs> way too much. Oh my god. Way too freaking much. How do I deal with this? They just regen too much here. Hmm, I could pull you. Yeah, let's pull this Antiquarian here. Okay, you can't resist the move if I get a crit on it. What they can do is they can go for, you know, they can go for a number of moves. They can go come here, they're into Harvest, they're probably still winning, honestly. Yeah, they're gonna go for it 25, they don't get it, thankfully, so I stay alive for a little longer. I am at this store here. Uh, if I go for a heal right now, I'm just dead regardless, so I have to go for a Punish crit. Punish crit! Crit. It's not a crit. 20% crit chance. If that was a crit, you'd be dead. You know that, right? Centicarian would be dead. That would be so much fun. But mm, Dirk Stab, I'm alive. I'm alive for now. For now, that is. You are actually taking enough DOT to drop down to zero. I probably want to use my flash onto action here. What do I want to use it for? I really want to kill an Antiquarian, not gonna lie, but I don't see how I'm gonna be able to do that. They have a finale to drop on my flagellant. Do they really want to drop a finale anymore, honestly? I feel like my flagellant has exhausted himself quite a bit. I could drop an Exsanguinate here on the Jester, which is... is wishful thinking for sure, but I kind of just had to go for it. Now I'm definitely dead. <laughs> definitely dead, unless they mess up here somewhere. They're very happy that, uh, that they dodged that, obviously, you can see that there. And now I'm in... I'm in probably... A dead amount of uh, dead shape here. Yeah, so my flagellant is dead, but they use their antiquarian action, so they might actually be a little bit screwed here. They're probably gonna drop a finale somewhere. Did I do two damage? Uh, can I do two damage with festering papers, please? And yes, that is two damage, so their flagellant, their antiquarian is at a uh, bad amount of HP here. So the regen on the flagellant is actually gonna screw him over right now because you can't drop a redeem. The antiquarian is likely just dead unless they move forward. But then I will attempt uh, I will attempt a Holy Lance into a come header, so it's still gonna be very likely to get the kill. This is a 35, and we just take it. That's quite good. Do they do I have a winning chance here? I, it's quite low, honestly. If the Chester was ticking down to zero, then maybe I'd have a winning shot. 
but since he isn't ticking down to zero and he still has finale, my, my characters are just kind of screwed here. So there comes the punish. My round hunter is dead to a finishing start of next round as well, so that's rough. What I could do is they no longer have that big healing that they used to have. They actually don't have any healing. I could drop an uppercut here and kind of delay you indefinitely, or I could join do an uppercut there and just force a finale out of them, which is probably just finale... yeah, it's not too good. What should I do? What should I do? I could go for a finish him here, trying to take that Bounty Hunter out. That doesn't sound too bad, honestly. Let's do some damage to that Bounty Hunter, maybe we can get something going. I could have gone for a pull on him, but um, I, don't, I don't feel like that would have been the smartest play. I'm actually gonna go for a Dark Snap, try and get the kill, and they fail, which is really good for me. Well, I could still go for the pull. Or I could just go for the finish. Are they taking enough? No, they're not. Damn. Now the regen is still countering the DOT. I'm gonna go for what will be probably my final action on this bounty hunter. So let's drop a finish him there. I actually forced their bounty hunter to do their action now because they're taking enough DOT. So that's quite good for me. If I can stun this Jester, survive a death blow on the bounty hunter, I actually win this match, which is just insane. You're gonna go for the finish him. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no way I could resist that. What I what I can do here though is I can go for a stun on the Jester and just try winning that way. Yeah, I really wish I had a finisher now, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for a stun on here, and I'm gonna see if maybe I have a win shot. If the Flagron fails all his bleeds on my Crusader, and doesn't remember to use his Exsanguinates, maybe I can win. <laughs> here comes the Reign of Sorrows, and yes, I am ticking down to zero. I was ticking down to zero before, I'm still ticking down to zero. I feel like you could have genuinely just not done that, but I have to fetch Ring Vapors here twice to try and get the win. I could, I could genuinely just go protect me now and try to keep my Crusader safe and my Antiquarian safe at the same time, but these corpses are going away soon and uh, there's just Dirk's now which will probably kill me anyway. So you get a crit heal on there because that's fair. And I will just try going for a Fenstring Vapors here. Maybe Hopeless gives a pass and that's how I win the match. I'm, I don't I don't think going Protect Me here would be too smart. Come on. <laughs> they have Bloodstained Canvas on for the Death of Resistance, by the way. I have a lot of DOT on them, though, so there's no way that they actually survive here for too long. So that is that is quite good for me. I'm just going to drop Stealth and I'm going to go wild if they kill me here. And uh, I might not be able to drop Zealous because we're going to come here, but then I just have a Holy Lance and it might kill, the, uh, might kill the Bounty Hunter here. We got one Holy Lance skill, can we get another? Come on Crusader, Rate of Execution, don't let me down. Oh, 46! I really needed that, I could have won the match on that. Oh, okay. Okay, don't stress, Chef, don't stress. They want to get the kill on me without, uh, without dropping Finale. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go for that. Come on, virtue chance. I have a virtue chance. Something tells me I'm not gonna get it, though. Maybe? Oh, I actually got it. I actually got focused there. That's so good. Now, it's, it's probably... It's probably not gonna matter at all. I'm probably still gonna die, but maybe? <laughs> no! No! No way! He actually finales the corpse. No way! No, 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 no. That is... That is unbelievable. He actually finales the corpse. I can actually win this. Yes, give, give him a great chance. Hell yeah. Fetching papers. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. I might actually win this match. That is unbelievable. Okay, extra stress on both characters as well. Look at all the DOT. Zealous here is just gonna destroy with the crit chance. I mean, I'm still dead, right? I'm still dead to a Punisher, but she did her job. She survived for long enough, and now she's gonna give me 20 accuracy, crit chance, like all the goodies here. I have to get rid of the corpse. I have to go for the Zealous here. Wow, nice crit. Flange wants afflicted as well. Extra stress on the on the gesture as well, I might actually win this one. The exanguinates are gonna be really rough, but I might stay alive for long enough. I have four rounds of super crit on the on the zealous accusation. Maybe I can win. Just maybe. I have to drop another zealous there. If they go Dirk Stab, they die to a zealous, by the way. Are they gonna go for it? They go for it, they actually go Dirk Stab and just oof themselves on that. I mean it's doing a lot of damage as well. What if I get a kill here on the flash wound? Come on! Oh, I don't get the kill on the flash. That would be so good. That would just that would just win the match on the spot. I feel like they should have kept kept the gesture in position three and just have gone for the redeems. Maybe that would have been good for them. Oh, that's a self-hit. I actually won that! 
I actually won that! Oh my god, that is unreal! I actually won this match! I cannot believe it, man. Do you remember when, when my opponent saw my flash won't miss the exsanguinate? And he just went like, ooh, I'm gonna win. And with the mouse, oh my god, that is unbelievable. GG's, what a comeback. What a freaking comeback. All you need was the was for the finale to go to the corpse and for the antiquarian to actually go virtuous. Goddamn virtue chances. GG's. GG's. Alright, hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.